Hey everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Passions Photography. Today we have some exciting news to share with you about the latest updates to Adobe Lightroom CC in October 2023. The October 2023 update of Lightroom CC brings a range of new features, improvements, and enhancements designed to make your photo editing workflow even more efficient. One of the most significant changes is the introduction of AI Lens Blur, a groundbreaking new feature that promises to revolutionize the way we edit photos. AI Lens Blur utilizes artificial intelligence to simulate a depth of field effect in your photos, commonly known as bokeh. Ding to your specific needs. This effect adds a pleasing background blur, allowing the subject of a photo to stand out more prominently. The AI aspect implies that the software uses machine learning algorithms to detect the subject in the image and apply a realistic blur to the background. Another noteworthy addition is point color, which allows you to customize colors according to your specific needs. First, please consider subscribing to my channel. By subscribing, you will get notified of my latest uploads and never miss any of the amazing content I create for you. It only takes a few seconds to click the subscribe button, and it will help me a lot to grow my channel and reach more viewers like you. Thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's dive into the software and explore how you can use Lens Blur to enhance your photos. Lens Blur is available in Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom for Mobile, Lightroom for Web, and in Adobe Camera Raw as an early access feature. Lens Blur adds an aesthetic optical blur effect to any photo with a single tap, says Adobe. The interactive tool allows the user to select the blur, amount using a slider, and the overall look of the blur. Choosing from five blur types similar to the various bokeh effects offered by different lenses, the blur amount corresponds to the f-stop of the lens, Users can also adjust the focus area in the image to change how the blur is applied to the scene. To apply lens blur, go to the develop module by pressing the D shortcut. If you're using this version for the first time, you'll see Lightroom providing a small tutorial for the new feature. You can explore bokeh types, depth map, and other features. Click on try now to use this function. Select lens blur and click apply. You can see the types of bokeh in the tool panel. Select one of the bokeh effects you'd like to apply. Circle, modern circular lens. Bubble, standard circular shape with overcorrected spherical aberration. Bi-blade best, penta effect commonly seen in vintage lenses. Ring commonly seen in reflex or mirror lenses, also known as donut. Cat eye, typically caused by optical vignetting in certain lenses. Use the blur amount and boost sliders to adjust the intensity of the blur and the bokeh effect, respectively. However, you may notice that nothing happens when moving the slider or increasing the blur intensity. To create a lens blur effect to blur the background, you need to move the depth map slider to the left and narrow the slider coverage, meaning a narrower area of the slider creates autofocus background. Select a visualized depth to view the depth map in cool and warm tones. Warm tones indicate areas in focus and cool tones indicate areas that are blurred. You can see that some part of the tiger's tail is in cool tones, indicating that part of the subject is blurred. You can see that as you move the slider to the right, cool tones increase, meaning the subject is also blurred. Moving it back to the left, warm tones appear again. Uncheck the visual map. If you feel that the background was not blurred as you wanted, you can decrease the area of the slider. Now, the background is blurred as desired, but the tiger's legs are also blurred, which you may not want. Don't worry, you can refine the selection. Refine the depth map further by selecting focus and brushing over the areas you want to stay in focus, or select blur and brush over the areas you want to blur out. You can resize the brush with the mouse scroll button or use the left and right bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of the brush. After setting the brush, you can paint over the legs and areas that were blurred. You can use the Alt key in Windows and the Option key on the Mac to add or subtract areas with the brush. Lens Blur is an early access feature available to all users by default. Given that the product is under development, presets, copy-paste settings, and sync auto sync settings workflows are not currently supported.
Now I'm opening a second image. In the first image, we used automatic AI subject selection to blur the background. But in this image, we select the manual focal range by clicking or dragging on the photo. You can see in this image that the left side of the fence is more blurred than the right side of the fence. So if we repeat the same steps that we applied to the first image, the left fence will become more blurred and the right will be less. When you click on the subject, the background is blurred. And when you drag or click on the background area, the subject will be blurred. So I select the subject of the face manually and the background is blurred automatically. To make it look more realistic, I used the refined brush to paint over the left fencing to remove the blurred effect because it was already blurred. This may take some time. See before and after. Now you can see both sides of the fencing are blurred almost equally. In summary, the October 2023 update of Lightroom CCI is a game changer for photographers and editors alike. With its new features, performance improvements, and user-centric enhancements, it's clear that Adobe is committed to making our editing experience even better. Don't forget to update your Lightroom CC to the latest version and start exploring these fantastic features for yourself. I hope you are enjoying my videos and finding them useful. If you want to support my channel and get access to some exclusive benefits, I invite you to join my channel membership program. By becoming a member, you will be able to watch my videos ad-free, get early access to new content, participate in live Quaya sessions, and receive a special badge next to your name in the comments. It's a great way to show your appreciation and interact with me and other members of this community. To join, just click on the join button below this video or on my channel page. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon as a member of my channel.